So in the last lesson, I evaluated the definite integral from negative four to two of x squared minus three x minus five dx. Now, when we did it, we got the answer of 12, but it required a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of algebraic manipulation. And honestly, there has to be a better way. I know you guys know there is a better way. And that's where the fundamental theorem of calculus comes in. It says that if I wanna do a definite integral, I just have to do the opposite of a derivative called the antiderivative. So that's what I'm gonna think about for a moment is I'm gonna think about what I did with derivatives. So in derivatives, we had a polynomial expression of x to the n, okay? So n's my exponent, x is my variable. And when I took the derivative of it, what we did was we dropped the exponent down by one and we took the old exponent and multiplied it so it became the new coefficient. Now, in this situation, I wanna do the exact opposite. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take x to the n and instead of going down by one, in the exponent, I'm going to go up by 1 in the exponent. So it's going to be x to the n plus 1. And instead of multiplying by the old exponent, I'm going to divide by the new exponent. Okay? So that's the process that I'm going to employ here. The thing that I'm going to do first, though, is break these up by terms. So I'm going to do the x squared first. So I'm going to do the uh, definite integral from negative 4 to 2 of x squared dx. Then I'm going to subtract another definite integral from negative 4 to 2 of 3x dx. And then I'm going to subtract the last one, so negative 4 to 2 of 5 dx. Now, once I've broken it up by terms, I'm going to go ahead and start working on this process. So that x squared, exponent is 2. I'm going to kick it up by 1, so it's going to become x cubed. Now, again, we're going to divide by that new exponent, which is 3. So we're going to divide by 3. Then I'm going to evaluate from negative 4 to 2. All right, that's the first term. Let's do the next one. So that's 3 times x to the first. So I'm going to kick that exponent up by 1. Again, we're still subtracting here. So that's going to become 3x squared. Now I'm going to divide by my new exponent, which is 2. Okay, so I'm going to go from negative 4 to 2. That's going to be where I evaluate. Now, the last part, that's 5, and there aren't any x's. So that's x to the 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that x to the 0, and I'm going to bump it up by 1. So it's going to become 5x to the first. But here's the thing. I'm going to divide by the new exponent, which is just 1. And anytime you divide by 1, you get the same answer. So the only thing that I have to worry about now is evaluating it between negative 4 and 2. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and start plugging this stuff in. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one third of two cubed minus one third of negative four cubed. So that's how I evaluate. I plug in the top number first and subtract by plugging in the uh, bottom number. All right, so here I go. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the next one. So we're gonna do three times two squared over two minus three times negative four squared over two. Then I'm gonna do the last part. So we're gonna do five times two minus five times negative four. At this point, we're down to arithmetic. We're down to literally just plugging this stuff in the calculator. So that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna make sure I have my handy dandy little calculator nearby. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to work stuff out. Now, two cubed is eight, so that's gonna be eight thirds. And I know that negative four cubed is negative 64. Well, I'm gonna multiply that by the negative one third, so this is gonna be positive 64 over three which should make 72 over three, which I know simplifies down to 24, okay? So that's what that first term is. The first term is 24, all right? Then I'm gonna subtract that by the next part. So that's three times two squared. Well, two squared is four. Three times four is 12. Divided by two makes six, okay? Then I'm gonna subtract that by the next part. So negative four squared, is 16. Three times 16, just making sure in my head, is 48. Divide that by two, you should get 24. So I'm gonna subtract that by 24, all right? Let's do the last thing. Six minus 24, I just wanna make sure I get it right, is negative 18, so I'm subtracting by negative 18. All right, so here I'm gonna go ahead and try to do my last part. Minus five times two is 10, and negative five times negative four makes 20 and 10 and 20 makes 30. So I'm gonna subtract by 30. So look at where I'm at now. I'm at 24 
minus negative 18 minus 30. So 24 minus negative 18 minus 30, and that gives me a whopping 12. The same answer I had before, but notice it's a lot easier this time. 